Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on So Many Books, So Little Time by Diamond Art Club. It is a 56 by 109 centimeters square diamond painting, 53 colors. I'd say we're almost three quarters done, which is awesome. Now, last time I was running out of colors left and right. So what I did was when I finished, I just refilled everything that I could. Let me tell you, there's not a lot left in the, the bag of tricks, as they say. So we're going to start with this one because I kind of ran out of that color, which is 640 container 20. And we'll do that. And some of them I was like, ooh, I'm putting the last bag in, you know. There, there's like a handful of bags left. And I'm like, okay, there's, there's still a lot of canvas left. Ooh, I hope I have enough, you know. I know it's not all one color, but e kind of makes you nervous, right? Kind of makes you nervous that you're going to run out of color. So what I did was when I finished, I can't remember if I was going somewhere or if I had something else to do, but I took the time and I just... Took the 50, it took me about 15 minutes to replenish all my containers. And I'm like, there, next time, I don't have to worry about running out of colors. or. Mm. Anything like that. I am drinking my second cup of mocha coffee. Second cup of coffee this morning. The first one, I kind of drank it while... I was scrapbooking upstairs and kind of forgot to drink it. So a lot of it I didn't drink. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? This is a two cup of coffee day, which the first one wasn't really a full cup anyway. So that's fine. But I, I just need that oomph today. Um, I did get up. You know, in the winter time, what I do is I like to do this video first and then I go upstairs because then, you know, heating the house kind of get it, gets it a little warmer up there. And in the summer, fall, because um, we're still getting like it's going to be 26 degrees Celsius today. And I think that's probably close to 80 maybe. And um, so it's still warm, you know? Yesterday was cold. <laughs> Yesterday was cold. Um, colder. It was only 20, which I don't know what 20 is. Is it 70? I don't know. Anyways, a little colder yesterday. And so you can definitely feel fall in the air for sure. And I'm like, oh, I got to get my tomatoes, you know, that were are ripe off the vine but now I have the baby Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I just don't have time to do anything when she's here. Like literally, like yesterday I was laughing. I'm like, literally all I do is change your bum, change your clothes, because she's teething, so she's always like soaked, right? And I don't want to leave her in soaked clothes all day, so I keep changing her shirt, and... uh feeding her because she's always hungry. <laughs> she's eating something or other or snacking or something or running after her because now she's walking. And at first it was okay because she was kind of scared. Do you know what I mean? So she was kind of being very cautious. Now she's a little bit more confident so the little bugger is trying to run and I'm like, don't run. <laughs> so I'm walking. I said, you know, I got to charge this weekend. I got to charge my Fitbit and see how many steps I actually do just following her around. Now, the good thing is, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I was saying, oh my gosh, she's sleeping like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour was the max. Now she's sleeping at least an hour. And if she only sleeps an hour in the morning, then she'll have an hour in the afternoon. 
But if she has a good nap and she's like almost two hours, then she doesn't sleep in the afternoon, which is fine. And I have to tell you this week, I was a little exhausted because I'm getting up. Like one morning I woke up at five. I didn't get up, but I got up at six. Or no, that's the morning I didn't get up. So two of the mornings, what I do is I get up at six and I go upstairs and I film till about seven. And she usually gets here between 7.20 and 7.30. So I usually get my sourdough fed at that point. And, you know, if we did the dishes the night before, then I unload the dishwasher. So I don't have to do that while she's here. I mean, I put away the stuff that we dirty during the day, you know, but at least it's not like a lot of stuff. And then when she walks in, I'm like ready to just focus all my attention on her. And that usually only takes me like 20 minutes between feeding the sourdough, which by the way, it is one o'clock and I haven't fed it today. <laughs> so I gotta do that, but I think I fed it late yesterday, so it's okay. It's, it's established now, so I'm not as, oh, it's gotta be fed every day at nine, you know? Like when it's brand new, you want to be a little bit more strict with it, you know, so that it has a better chance of succeeding, you know, but once it's established, it's fine. There's even a, a day last week. I'm like, I don't feel like feeding you. <laughs> and I fed it the next day, which I mean, I wouldn't do that all the time and I don't do it often, but that day I just didn't feel like it. So I fed it the next day and it was fine. Um, it's a little bit soupier, if you will, because then it's got to eat whatever's there for two days, right? So it's a little bit more like, hey, what are you doing? So it's, okay, we're going to do case 21, which is DMC 642, which is those. So last time I think I did an hour and 10 or 11 minutes. I think now thinking I can do an hour and a half. Not only am I taking it from two to one time a week, I think I'm taking it from one and a half to maybe one hour. Oh, I just needed to have another drink of coffee. Just because I just have so many other things I want to do, you know? So I still want to do this. But am I going to finish by the end of 2024? No. Am I going to get my 52 times that I wanted? E, I don't know. This is 36. So is there 20 weeks left? <laughs> I don't think so. Right? There's only October, November, December. So that's 4, 8, 12. There's like 15 so uh, I don't need exactly 22. I think I need probably 18. I, it, I'm really close. So I could push it and do a couple of weeks that I do two a week. So maybe then I'm going to make it. See, tomorrow, which is the day normally that I can get a lot done, like today. Today's Thursday. By the way, this today is the 12th and this is not going to go up till the 18th. But that's the only way that I can get this done. You know, get it done a long time in advance. And then I have the time to like edit and put it up and all this stuff and do all the other stuff I got to do. So, but tomorrow I have to go to the dentist. Oh, I Hate going to the dentist but last week I had cancer when I was 25 and when you have chemo and stuff it does something to your teeth something about the saliva glands and blah 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 and and I my teeth have never been the same since um since I've had chemo and radiation both right? 
And uh, I think I want a different pen. This is, um, I have a glue dot in there and I still don't like the way it's picking up. I don't know. I know people love the glue dots. I'm not, I'm not sold on it yet. I'm not sold on it yet. I think it's like anything else, you know? Everybody has their preference and what they're used to. Um, so anyway, last week, I can't remember what I was eating. Anyway, I broke a tooth and it's a tooth that had a filling in it. So really it's the filling that broke and it was only a little bit, but because, you know, once it started, then all of a sudden, like the whole filling just kind of crumbled out. It's the white filling because it's one of my front teeth and not totally in the front, but more on the front than the back. And the white filling is not as strong as the gray filling, right? So I'm like, oh no. So I called and they can get me tomorrow. Now, am I gonna feel, feel like filming once? Mm. It's right at first thing in the morning. I kind of wish it was would have been the end of the day. It's not fun, because then you think about it the whole day. But then I could have had a ton of stuff done before the end of the day, right? So now I'm like, oh, I wish it would have been at the end of the day. Like even two, so that... You know, then you can still have supper because it'll be not frozen by the time supper comes around. But at least I would have had all day. So that's why I was going to film this tomorrow, but I don't know how I'm going to sound, you know, because it's in the front. So my lip is going to be all frozen and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do this today. So I went up this morning and I, I did do two days where... I film stuff for YouTube. So what I do is, because now I have the baby three times a week, I only have two days to film and the weekends, but I don't want to be up there, you know, eight hours on the weekend. You know, I, I, I need time off too. And the baby is not time off. <laughs> Am I working on this? No. You know, on videos and stuff? No. But it's still not time off. Like, I just go, go, go all day, right? At the end of the day, I am a zombie. Um, I could probably do voiceovers that, that night after I'm done. But even at that, I just, I can't. I'm just, my br my brain is fried. So what I do is I get up in the morning. I go to bed early now. I get up in the morning and I have about an hour to film. Now, I don't film stuff that I have very rarely. Once in a while I do, depending on how awake I am. But I don't do stuff where I have to talk at the same time because I'm gonna sound really groggy and my brain is gonna be foggy. So that's the perfect thing for like the organized with me videos, like cleaning. So I go upstairs and I clean one or two things because it's about half an hour each thing. And then the next morning I go and I kind of finish that video, right? Because then I do the third thing because usually for the organize with me, I pick three things to clean per week. And that has been working really well with me and it's between an hour and an hour and a half. And then I'm, you know, like today, I'm going to do the voiceover for that. And it's due next Monday and today's Thursday. So I'll probably do the voiceover for that. I'll do the voiceover for the color with me. And I can edit this video. And I did the kit creation this morning. So I have the video for Thursday. And I need to do the voiceover for Friday. Now this will be the last scrapbooking one that I have ready. So now I'm thinking this weekend, do I want to do, hey, let's do, you know, let's grab four page kits and a 
let's try to do four videos for that this weekend. So I have almost all the month of October done. You know, my Friday videos. But I see I want to do some Patreon videos too. Because those I don't want to do first thing in the morning. Because they're a little bit more involved. Like right now we're doing... Uh, gelatos, which, ooh, I did two pages this morning. Loved it. What I did last week, too, I think, was it on the weekend? Might have been on the weekend. Before that, there's a day that the baby slept two hours. So then I was like brainstorming, you know, like, what can I do for gelatos? So I came up with the ideas on paper. Not necessarily how my layout is going to do, but more like the technique, right? So I wrote all those down. Then on the weekend, I went upstairs and I got all five, because there's five Tuesdays in October. So we're going to do five times, you know, layouts with gelatos. And I sat there and looked at the page kits and decided on the colors, chose the gelatos, cut apart all the digital files and all this stuff. So they're all ready to go. They're not made, but they're all ready to go. So this morning when I went up, it was like, okay, I'm gonna, I was gonna do a sketch and a gelato, but I had so much fun with the first one. I'm like, ah, I think I wanna do the second one right away. And I did, and I loved it. I loved doing both. And I was hoping so I was hoping to do one today and then one tomorrow, but now because I have to go to the dentist, I couldn't do it. So I'm like, okay, so I'm going to do both today. Now I wanted to film this. I might go in, I don't know. I might go and do one or two voiceovers. I have to take care of my tomatoes today. I have a bunch of tomatoes on my table. I have to wash them core them and freeze them. So that has to be done. There's a whole bunch on the vine that has to be picked because I couldn't do that the whole time that she was here. Because by the time she left, I was like, I can't, I can't move. I can't do anything. So today I got to do that. I got to go get the tomatoes that are on the vine. Now I think I want to wash the ones that are in here first. Or maybe I should wait because there might be some that I'm going to pick, that I'm picking that are ready to go right in the freezer. Now, would I love to just put it right in my roaster right away, roaster, electric roaster, and just do my tomatoes right away? 100%. I just don't think I can. I just don't think I can right now. I just have too many other things going on. I picked all my peppers they're still not cut up. So I'm like, oh, I gotta do that. So I might have to do that this afternoon and freeze them in separate little baggies. So then when I need peppers, I can just like for soups and stuff, I can just go here, a package of peppers, there you go. And I forgot to get Dave to pick up onions the other day because I would have done the onions too. And then it would have been like, boom, I got onions ready. I got peppers ready. And then I should get him to get celery too. And then I can just get their celeries ready. So it's a lot of work now, but then the prep is done for later. Last weekend, I did 12 meals with vegetables. So I cut up. Mushrooms, onions, peppers, uh, what else? Broccoli, and I divided it into baggies, like the big freezer bags. And actually we got 13 meals because I made a meal that day too. And then the potatoes, I just do the day of. I just add a little bit of baby potatoes. So, yeah. I don't, I don't freeze those, you know? Okay. So I don't know if I should get Dave to stop at Costco. 
He was just there like not last night, but the night before. But he's in town today and he's not gonna go to town tomorrow. So maybe I could get him. It's gonna be almost at closing time by the time because I think he's going biking with Mason after work. So it'll be closer to closing time so that it's not gonna be as busy. And that's when you wanna go to Costco, right? And it's not picking up a lot of stuff. It would be onions, maybe celery. Mm. Maybe a couple more things, right? So we have, we always buy the six heads of uh, romaine lettuce from Costco, which we got it before Josh was here. So we did a few meals with them using that. So that worked out. And then last night I was like, I don't know what I want to do. Like I was so exhausted and he had bought cucumbers the day before and I'm like, oh, we still, and chicken. He had bought a chicken, so we had some chicken left. And the night before we had done like regular lettuce with tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff like that with Italian dressing. And then last night we just had a chicken Caesar, which just felt like a completely different meal. And instead of croutons, what I do is I cut up cucumbers and then you get the crunch without you know croutons weren't my favorite anyway so I'm like I really like cucumbers and then I got the nice crunch so I don't know we still have one head of romaine lettuce so I don't know if that's what we're gonna have tonight I don't know I really don't. I almost feel like a soup, but I don't know what kind of soup. I don't know. I almost feel like maybe like a red soup, you know? But again, I wish I had some red peppers cut up in small, like not like the way I do it for the veggies, you know? So then I could do like a stuff red pep stuff pepper soup mm, that's so good so maybe i can get him to get some peppers too and i can just cut those differently than i did the last ones and then when i want to make soups i'm just like boom a soup ready right maybe i could do my chicken soup maybe i could do that tonight Although it feels cold in here because we knew it was going to go up to 26. It's going to be warm today. Yesterday was kind of cool. Yesterday would have been a great day for a soup. But I mean, inside it's cool anyway. So it's, it's still kind of fallish, you know? So maybe I could do that. I don't know. Supper man, it is... My nemesis. <laughs> oh, I don't like making supper. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I, I love cooking. I don't like that I don't know what to make. And I make, I hate making the same things over and over again. But then I feel like I don't have time to experiment. You know, I just have so much other stuff to do. Oh, uh, I don't know if I want to color um, a stamp today too. Those, I'm way ahead. Well, yeah, I'm five weeks ahead, so that's good. But I don't want to go, oh, well, this week I don't need to do one. And then, oh, next week I don't have to do one. And all of a sudden I'm like, I have to rush and get them done. I don't like that. That's how I feel with this, right? But I also feel like I can't do this too far ahead because I chat the whole time. So then, I don't know, I just feel like the information is like so old, <laughs> right? Oh, by the way, I am, I'm okay now. Like last week, I, it was the day, I filmed it the day my son left. And I was, I, when I was editing, 
I edited out a lot of the blubbering stuff, but I wanted to keep it real too, right? We're humans. It's so hard. And a lot of you shared, you know, that, oh my goodness, somebody's, oh, who was it? Lynette, her son, like way farther than me. And then who was it? The other one, like, right across the world, basically, you know what I mean? Like, so I'm like, okay, he's only 10 hours away. You know, I still don't see him a lot, but there's FaceTime now, right? And that reminds me today, I'm going to FaceTime him. We'll chat. I'm going to try and do it like once a week. I don't know if that's feasible Maybe if we don't stay on the phone for an hour. See, the problem is we stay on the phone for an hour because we only do it like once every few weeks, right? So maybe if we do it every week and then we just do 20 minutes, we can kind of catch up on stuff we want to do, you know, for the business too, kind of a business meeting, you know, and instead of texting because uh, we do texting now and I just don't like it. So... Maybe that's what we can do. Just chat. Oh, I forgot to drink my coffee. It's going to be cold. It's so good. So good. Anyway. Um, I'm ready to go back to wax. You know. This is not working out. <laughs> It's not working out. Oh, this is, I put a glue dot in every single one of them. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my tweezers. And pick it out. And then put wax again. I know because people, ooh, people said that they didn't have to do, um, like to refill it forever. I don't know. I don't find it's lasting. Maybe I didn't put it enough in there. Like maybe I should, I don't know. I'll try it again. But right now I'm just going to do, because my glue dots are upstairs. So I'll just do wax. Fill it up and go from there. So yeah, this afternoon I'll, I'll chat with him for a bit and then I'll, I'll do a few voiceovers. I'll go get, I'll wash tomatoes and then maybe I'll wash the ones that are there cause it's still a lot so I can wash them, put them on a towel then go get, and then if there's more, it's going to be another, you know, I don't know, a whole bunch more. So then I can just do that and freeze them. And then once the craziness of everything dies down, because I'm still getting used to having her now three times a week, you know, trying to get caught up, not get caught up. I'm trying to get ahead, which I am getting ahead because we're September 12th today and I'm working on October Patreon. So I'm really, you know, pushing. I mean, some stuff are suffering, you know, like we want to do um, physical stuff and I haven't had a chance to work on cutting stuff up with my silhouette and stuff like, you know. I'll get ahead and then I'll change my focus to that. And then I won't have to do, you know, eight or nine hours of the one thing. Because then once you're ahead, you can say, okay, you know, as long as I do two every, like every Thursday and every Friday, and then I can put the time into working on the physical products the rest of the time. 
and maybe I won't feel as exhausted. And plus, you know, because my tooth broke, it's kind of hurting, so that's exhausting too. So that didn't help. This week, you know, when you're in pain, it's not excruciating pain, but I'm in pain all day, plus I'm watching a baby for 10, 11 hours a day. And at the end of the day, I'm, I'm pooped, you know? I'm, I'm exhausted, so um, I was still editing some videos, but I didn't do any voiceover. I just felt like I didn't have, you know, oomph, you know, to do a voiceover, so it's all good. I'll get it done today. It's for next week, so I'm still ahead. I'm not behind. And then tomorrow, hopefully I can still get a little bit of stuff done. I won't be able to do anything before because it's at 8.30. So, you know, I'm going to get up and I'm going to get ready and I'm going to go. So definitely not anything before I go. But then maybe by the hour, I don't think I'm going to do a live tomorrow because I don't want to schedule it and then have to cancel it. So I'm just not gonna schedule it at all. So we're gonna do 33, which is the three dots, which is DMC 823, 823, yeah. So we'll do that. So then that'll be another big section done. So, um, plus, I, you know, I'm gonna have time to read because I haven't had time to just sit there and read. Now I have to say, while well, she was snoozing this week, I did read and I could only read like a couple chapters or whatever, but it was a couple chapters. And then at night, I'm just too tired to read. I am, I think 60% because last week I said I was just starting Butcher and Blackbird. And I was like, ooh, you know what? I just read the, the warning. It was like, you know, serial killers and, but it's, it's, you know, it's, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not very, not too, too, too descriptive. There is some descriptive stuff, but not too, too bad. So I'm 60%, I think. So I'm hoping today I can read 20%. You know, I'm going to do this. It's what, 120 right now. I did quite a bit upstairs. I just have to edit those videos. And I might do that tomorrow. Instead of doing that today, that's something that I can do, you know, even though my mouth feels like, ooh, I might sleep. Because what I like to do is just sleep it off. And then when you wake up, then it's done, right? It's not all frozen and yeah, all that stuff. So I might try to have a little nap. But if I can't sleep, then I can edit those videos because those are real time. So I don't have to do the voiceover for those for Patreon. I do all my videos real time. So I can edit those and put them up to Vimeo. And then, you know, I don't put them up on Patreon quite yet. I try to wait till I have a lot of videos ready for that month. And then I just do it all at once. And right now, I think I have one video left to put up for Patreon for September. It's done. It's on Vimeo. But I'm like, uh, I'm going to wait until it's almost due, you know, to upload or to release. And then I'll have quite a few from October. And then I'll just take, usually takes me a couple of hours. And I just do... A whole bunch at once. And I have my calendar done for October. I'll have to remind Dave to get it done. Because I don't think he did. To get it done. And then when I do that, I can put up the calendar up there already. And then I'll just have like maybe the end of October that won't be ready. You know? Or, you know, ready to upload or whatever. But that's okay. That is a-okay. I'm hoping to get two videos done for Patreon this weekend. I go more, if you will, ham for stuff for YouTube on the weekend than Patreon. 
but I'm going to try and do two because I can't do any tomorrow where normally I would do two tomorrow. So I'm going to do two on the weekend instead. And I might be able to do a coloring one, like a, one of the CC designs. Maybe I can do one of the coloring girl ones tomorrow because I don't have to talk for that. I do the voiceover later. So I might be able to do that. I know I had a to-do list that was as long as my arm. And today I finished, like I crossed off the last thing off of it. And it was the to-do list for, oh, actually this is the last thing for my whole week. So I sit down on Sunday and I or Monday morning and I write down everything that I want to do for the whole week on one notepad and then I have weekly ones and then I try to figure out, okay, that I'm gonna do Monday, this I'm gonna do Tuesday, so on and so forth, you know? Uh, I know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't have a lot of time, so I don't put a lot of stuff, you know? Um, so this diamond paint with me will be the last one. And actually I've already did the list for next week, which I did, because technically I don't need to do the voiceover and stuff. I could even just do it Monday, you know what I mean? Or Sunday night for next week. So I started the list for next week and I did this, the you know list for voiceovers and um, the organized with me for the week after. So that I am a week ahead, which woohoo. Oh, I didn't put pages for this weekend for YouTube. So I got to do that. Maybe this afternoon I can pick, you know, four page kits and maybe try to get those done this weekend. Because I want to try and do those real time too. So I don't want to do them like boom, 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 because then it's hard to hard to come up with stuff to say, you know, <laughs> for that long. So, so maybe I can do two on Saturday and two on Sunday. So that means I want to do three real time videos because I want to do two for Patreon. So I think I can do it as long. Maybe I can get up somewhat early and then do one right first thing in the morning and then kind of spread them out. There we go. So yeah, Butcher and Blackbird. I'm really surprised. Like I am really enjoying it. And I was hoping to have the audiobook so that, you know, I could get through it a little faster, but it's not on Everand. I don't want to buy it. So I'm reading it with my eyes. But Everand does have the second book. So I'm like, okay. So read the first one with your eyeballs and then just listen to the second one. I have five books that became available on my Libby app from the library all at once. Now, two of them are real, or three of them are really small books. They're all part of the Murderbot series. So I'm like, you know what? That is just A-OK. -okay. One of them is a novella, so it's even shorter than the others. And one of them, I'm about, um, book three, I'm about halfway through it. So I should finish that, I'm hoping, tomorrow, because like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna, I plan on reading. So if today I can make it to 80% on Butcher and Lark, and maybe I can finish that book tomorrow and pretty much finish the other one. And then it's the novella. So maybe I can read that too. Ooh, can you imagine if I could finish three books tomorrow? That would be awesome. I need it because I'm so far behind. I definitely need it. So that'll get rid of three out of the, uh, that'll get rid of three, yeah, out of the five that I have on Libby. 
And then the other one is Summer Romance. I can't remember the name of the author. But Romance, I can usually plow through those pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that once, you know, on Saturday I can make, on Saturday and Sunday I can make a good dent in that one and finish that one next week. And then I can read number four for the from the Murder Bot series. And then I'll be, oh, and I have the Tainted Cup. That's a pretty big book. I think it's, well, it's 400 and some. So, but I think that'll be the last one I'll read because it's the last one I kind of got. So I think I still have like 19 days for that one to finish it. Still not reading my own books. Ugh. But I stopped requesting books. I think I only have three that are, you know, on hold or waiting, you know. So now we're going to do number nine, which is container 27. You know what? I have a bunch of containers out. Let's put these away because I don't want to put it in the wrong one. Um, which is DMC. Oops. DMC 796. Which is fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll get this one done. I don't know if I'm gonna get this whole thing done. I think so. I mean, it's almost done now. I think by the time, oh, keep dropping them. By the time I get the nines done, there's only that left. This is going, coming along really good. And last time I only did an hour, but I think last time was the second time on this. And I think the first time was when, you know, I had finished a section and then only did like 20 minutes. So, you know, just doing an hour, it'll probably be like maybe three weeks now to get a section done, which is not good. But it is what it is. Oof, all these were all like standing up. Like, oh well, I got them. I need to, I need to roll those down. Oh, even the wax in here in my three is kind of sucky. Come on. That one here, there's a little burr on that one, so we'll get rid of that. Oh, I keep throwing them on here. Like, what? Why? I'm just gonna grab them from here and put them on because I can't be bothered to pick them up again. Oh, these two are flipped the wrong way, so we'll pick them up. So yeah, I don't know. I have still haven't decided if I'm gonna keep my thing at 100 books or if I'm gonna bring it down to 85. 85 is still good. I, I just don't know if I have the time, you know, to read 100 books a year now. So if I bring it down to 85, it brings down the pressure for some, well, it kind of makes sense. I was gonna say for some reason, like January, February, March, I just get so many more books done. But for us, it's a really busy time of year because you know of hockey and stuff. But then we don't do a lot of stuff outside, outside of that. So it makes sense that I have time, more time to read. 
but also at the beginning of the year, I didn't start watching the baby till the end of March. And I think that's when my, my numbers kind of went down after that. And that's fine. And what I'm trying to do too is when she goes to sleep, instead of running around and trying to get a bunch of stuff done, I am gonna try and read more and maybe not watch YouTube videos. This week, I kind of watch a little bit of YouTube videos, which whatever, I need it, you know, to kind of relax. Okay, so we'll do, I was in pain, so I just didn't feel like reading, you know? So we're gonna do 50, which is DMC 3787. There's only three, but I wanna finish that. Seems to me, okay, I got it done. There was a, a little straggly one here one time. Oh, like all this, they all need to be pushed in. So I'm gonna go get my rolly thing. I don't have to um, refill my containers like this. Look how little I have. And I know there isn't any more of this. So like, <laughs> Okay, so now let's do this one here. It's kind of like a um, straight line with a ball in the middle. That, so that's container 23, which is DMC 677. Ooh, it's a nice vanilla color. Okay, what time is it? 136. Should I go till two or should I just finish this section? It might be two by the time I finish this section too, right? There's still a bit of stuff here to do. Still a bit of stuff. Okay. Another thing I've been doing too is playing with Canva and making bookmarks. Cause when I, you know, do the physical products, I wanna do magnetic bookmarks. I wanna do regular bookmarks cause I love reading. So I'm kind of playing with that, designing bookmarks and that kind of stuff too. So I am. You know, still getting a lot of stuff done. It's just, and like I said before, when you have less time is when you get more done. And last year, I just did not feel good, to tell you the honest truth. In November, I got, you know, the plague. <laughs> and I didn't get it bad, but my energy level just plummeted like I just had no energy and like even when I started watching the baby I just did not have the energy I think it came back like in May and so I would do like a few things every day I would go upstairs around nine but I would come downstairs around nine and I would edit the videos which would take me, it always takes me a couple of hours to edit the videos that, you know, I filmed, you know, a few hours. So then I'd be done around, let's say three. And then I would read. So that's how I got a lot of the reading in. I don't read at three anymore, you know. I work till, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> depending on the day and how much stuff I want to do. Like if I'm like, oh, I just want to get all the YouTube videos done. Like let's say today, if Dave doesn't come home till like eight tonight, I might edit and, you know, do stuff till he gets home. And then we watch one or two episodes of Big Brother. So what we started doing, we're watching the American Big Brother but we're on top of that, right? So we started watching the Canadian one. Our PVR taped it, so I thought it was this season. Oh no, it was last year. 
We noticed at the very, very end, I think there was three episodes left, because it said class of 23. And I'm like, why would it be class of 23? Anyway, I started doing research. We were watching Big Brother 11, Canada 11, and that was last year's. And I'm like, oh, so we still have this summer's to watch. So we're watching that. We're totally behind on 911. I think we watched the first episode. It's on Netflix now. So I'm like, you know what? As soon as we're done Big Brother Canada 12, we'll watch that and we can binge it. Like boom, 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 boom. And then we can figure out, okay, what else? I think Grey's Anatomy too. So hopefully that'll be on Netflix. Because I think we only watched one episode of last season. So we can watch it on Netflix, like boom, 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 in a row. Ha ha, Survivor starting next Wednesday. Like the day this goes up, Survivor starting tonight, <laughs> you know, um, on the 18th, which I think this is going up on the 18th. Yeah. Uh, no, this will go up on the 17th, the day before. No. Yes. No. Whatever. It's on Wednesday, Survivor's on Wednesday, so it must be the same day, must be the same day. Ooh, let's open this up. Let's open this up, because there's only a little bit left to do. So we might as well do all, what, whatever's left on this tray. Let's just do it. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up, because I wanna do this here. I don't think I'm gonna go too, too far below, but I'm gonna do this right here, there. Um, so yeah, we'll start watching Survivor for sure. Oh, we're watching Amazing Race Canada. Now it's over, we don't know who won yet because we haven't watched the last episode. Oh, you wanna hear something? They went to Miramichi and that's where we went camping and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if they were there? When we were there, we didn't know. And guess what? They were. We could have went and saw them. And the festival that they went to, we saw that. But I wasn't feeling that great. And I'm like, oh, you know, I, I really don't feel like doing anything. It's after everybody left. And it was just me and Dave. We could have went and we could have saw the, oh, the players for the amazing race. Oh, I was so upset. Of course, they don't announce it because they don't want everybody, you know, to flood the place. But, oh, my goodness, we could have seen the players live, like, real time. So, anyway, um, I don't know. We might watch that tonight and just finish it because it's a two-hour finale. So, we can just... Maybe watch that, and by the time it's done, then we can watch the Big Brother that would have been published or put out tonight, because by then it should be late enough. And then, then you know, by that time, I'm so tired, I don't feel like reading, and that's why I don't get much reading done, you know? So it is what it is. You know, you're either watching a lot of TV you're e either crafting a lot. Like, you can't do everything, right? You just can't do everything. So some things are going to suffer. And I feel like this year, it's going to be my reading. I mean, I'm still on book 64. So come on. You know, I, I still got a lot of reading in. So I feel really good with that. And I read a lot of big, thick books, you know, like the Murderbot series, which I didn't even know when I started that these books are all like 150, 175 pages. I had no idea. I just heard a lot of people talk about it and how they loved it. And I was like, oh, I think I want to read that. And then when I started reading it, I'm like, oh, they're, you know, fairly short I think book number four or five is the biggest one. I think five. I think 
book number five is 350 pages or something like that. So, um, you know, it's going to be a regular book. So, but that's going to help. It's definitely going to help. <laughs> and I, like I said, I read so many big books that I'm okay with reading smaller books. I think my average page is still going to be pretty much up out there because I have two of the Wheel of Time books done and they're a thousand pages each. I got all three of the Chain of Gold books. They're all between six and eight hundred pages. What else? Oh, Iron Flame. That was a pretty big book too. Six, six, seven hundred pages. And I'm sure there's more that I don't even can't even think about right now. And so that's good. And I want to start a Sarah J. Mass one. I just wanted to take a break on the big books, <laughs> you know, and read a little bit more. Summer, I like to read, you know, a few romance and stuff like that. So, and I think I'm going to do the Lark in like the next book in the Butcher and Blackbird series because the last book, the third book, is going coming out in February. So I want to have it done so that in February I can ask for the book from the library and just read it. You know, I'm not really buying books anymore. I did pre-order, as I say, I don't buy books anymore, um, the third book from Fifth Wing. I love that series though, so I want those books. But the rest, I'm okay with not having. And I'm like, oh, I wish I would have done that with way more books, you know? I have so many books. So I'm, I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with all of them. I might put them up for sale. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's another uh, scrapbooking day coming up. And I don't know if I, I wanna go. We're just really busy. Mason has a tryout that day. I could go to it, then go back to the tryout, or go back to the scrapbooking day and then, you know, keep going. I don't know, I don't know what I wanna do. I did enjoy it the time that I went. So, we'll see. I think I'll wait closer to the day and kind of decide then, you know, see how I, see how I feel. I think sometimes, you know, when I have too many things planned, then I just find it a little overwhelming. I'm definitely a homebody, you know? So if I plan too much stuff out and about, it's too much. So um, we are friends that we used to hang out with all the time when our kids were young. Like I'm talking all the time, like every weekend, and when I, you know, was off maternity leave or didn't work or whatever, we would hang out like a couple times a week with our kids and stuff like that. We went on several vacations together. Um, we haven't seen them in years. Anyway, she messaged me yesterday. She goes, you know, I've been thinking about you guys and do you want to get together? So that's going to be on the 22nd. So I'm like, okay, do I really want to be out all day on the 21st, then on the 22nd, and remember I said I have the baby all week, that next week, like Monday to Friday. So to me, that feels a bit much. You know what I mean? It feels like I'm going to be pushing the limits. I need time to just not be go, 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 you know? So that's why I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to go. So that means it's going to be in October. Ugh. And that's why I want to do some pages this week. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of did like doing like four pages that weekend. And then I had videos, you know, for a whole month on my channel. I kind of like that. And I didn't have, well, one of them I have to do a voiceover because the last page I was like, oh, there's a little bit of burr on that one. So we're going to get rid of that. I just couldn't do real time because I was it I didn't know what to say <laughs> it was a lot of videos you know in a row but for the three of them I'm like this is cool like they're already all done I don't have to do a voiceover because there's quite a few I have to do a voiceover for right have to do a voiceover for the organize with me have to do a voiceover with the color with me and I have to do a voiceover for the scrapbooking one. So that's three a week out of the five. So I'm like, if I could cut that down to two, because these I do real time, the diamond paint with me. If I could cut these down to two, that would be awesome. So that's why I'm thinking if I could do some, you know, real time, that would be awesome. So I'm just gonna finish these i'm not gonna replenish this color i'm gonna go to the next one. Oh, that's still backwards okay i think i'm gonna go to the next one now so that's container 46 and it is dmc 3033 yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do because the where my filling fell, it's starting to... What it's doing, it's giving me major headaches. So I'm, I'm getting a headache. So I should go and, you know, take something for it before it gets too bad. And then kind of lay down and maybe read for a little bit and then do some voiceovers, you know, once the pain is gone. And then get up and do the tomatoes and all that. Dave said he could help me bring in some of the tomatoes. Oh, I have two zucchinis left. That's another thing. Maybe tomorrow I can do some zucchini breads. Because, oof, that zucchini is massive I don't want to put any more in the freezer like oof I think I would, I'd like to have some stuff that's already finished do you know what I mean so I think I want to do like maybe I don't know quite a few zucchini breads have one fresh and then I want to freeze the rest and wrap them up individually. So Mason has some for his school lunch. So that would be done for him. So that'd be great. I should maybe plan something for supper tonight that I could make him some meals too. Because what I did is I got little foil containers and I think I have seven meals ready for him so before hockey he can just nuke one of those they're all cooked and then he can have it you know so I don't know although I do want that soup tonight I can probably make some this weekend I'm gonna get Dave to get a big bag of fruits this weekend, I think, and maybe a big bunch of bananas from Costco. And we're gonna get bags of fruits in the freezer for him already with frozen yogurt. What I do is I get the big yogurt bag from Costco, the vanilla one, and I freeze it into ice cubes. And then one, because we can't go through all of that before it's not good. You know what I mean? Like 
unthawed, like not frozen. So, and plus we like it better frozen because it makes your smoothie thicker. So we kind of like that. I think, oh, there's just a few here. So let's do those. They're just a few throughout the rest. Less I have to put back in, eh, the better, right? And it's less that I have to do next week when I do this. I'm trying to think, yeah, so next week I'll probably again do it on Thursday, do the diamond painting because I put those up on Wednesday and I'm like, okay, usually I would film it on Tuesday. You know, whenever I had Monday and Tuesday off, I would film it on Tuesday. Well, I'm never going to have Tuesdays off now. So I kind of have to film it the week before. So stuff is a little outdated, if you will, what I'm chatting about, but does it really matter? No, because sometimes it could be a month later that some people are watching this or a year later. So really, it doesn't matter. I'm getting it done. I'm getting, you know, this on there. I don't think this belongs there. So we'll get rid of that. I think I got all of those done. Now it is container 49, I think. Yep, DMC three, what is it? 3782. And it's just this sign. So I think, oh, it's not even two yet. Okay. Well, I'm still not done this section, but I did do a little bit over here too. So I don't know if I'll finish all of those or I'll just kind of finish. I guess I did finish this section. This is the section I was like, oh, I got to finish that. This, no, I'm confused. Where does this end? Yeah. Yeah, so I did quite a bit from this section. Not a ton, but a bit. A less that I have to do next time. What I like is that there's not a lot of dark colors. Oh, I just, I have no idea where these go. You know what? We're just gonna wing it. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, does it really matter? It's a little dot. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, so <clears throat> I just wanted to finish this right here because it was kind of open, you know? So this is going to be good. I still haven't eaten anything this today and it's two o'clock. I'm like, what could I eat? We still have a little bit of chicken left, so maybe I can just rip chicken off and just have a few bites of chicken. I don't know. I really don't feel like making something to eat, you know? Oh, I gotta feed my starter too. I don't think I wanna do two, day two days this week that I don't feed my starter. I think that would be pushing it. So I gotta feed starter it's already two so it's okay just means tomorrow maybe I'll do it after I come back from the dentist like maybe at noon you know and then the next day I'll do maybe at 10 because usually I like to do it first thing in the morning like I said like around seven o'clock this morning I slept in I was just like oh, I'm so exhausted Slept until eight. And then I watched a video. So I got up at nine. And then I went upstairs and worked for three hours upstairs. And because my pages were 
you know, prepared ahead. Because that takes me, you know, to kind of figure out and this and that. It's at least 45 minutes to an hour per page, right? Oh, look at that one. Did I miss that one too? I'm going to have to do that. So because those are all done, you know, all ready to go, it saved me so much time this morning. I was like, wow, you know, this page is done. And because it's kind of mixed media-ish, um, the second page, it was a little thick, so I had to wait for it to, to dry. So then I did a kit creation video while it dried and... It was fine. Oh, look, my goodness. It's like this section here. It's like I didn't see it. I don't know what the heck is going on. I think I'm gonna be done with that. I'm just gonna do that one and that one. And we're gonna call it good for today. It's two o'clock. I gotta eat. I gotta feed my starter. I gotta do a whole bunch of other stuff. So let me, that is 23. It's still right here, so. Let's do that for this one. And then I gotta do the percentage sign, which is 46. That one I did put away. Okay, so that's it guys. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. Bye.